Okay, so this is for my Tech Ed 1 class. Um, this video is going to go over how to take the tutorial from our SOLIDWORKS tutorials. Uh, as a reminder, if you go up here to the home page, the tutorials are under your Learn Tutorials Step-by-Step -step Interactive Instructions. And if you click on those, the first tutorial is what we did as it loads to the right here. <coughs> I know that interferes, sorry, was lesson number one, parts. So you've not completed that yet. You need to follow this step by step to get through this and get completed to the end here. Okay, so when it's done, you'll make some modifications. Your finished part will look like this to the left. I'm going to go ahead and close that because now what I'm going to do is take tutorial number one and put it into a final drawing. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and uh, we do this in millimeters. So I'm going to do a file new. We're going to put this on a GHSA metric border, which will be usually in the middle of the second row, and say OK. Now again, the reason I'm doing metric is because the part that we drew, or the units we drew it in, was metric, which is millimeters. I'm going to go ahead and double click my tutor one. I actually have all my tutors open. It will probably be smart for you to do the same. What I'm going to do is double click tutor number one. And again, we're going to do the same setup we've done in the previous drawings, so the previous four drawings that you just submitted. We're going to start with our front view. We're going to turn on a preview. We're going to turn hidden lines on. And we're going to go with our scale, in this case, of 1 to 2. At this point, I'm going to drop this in the left-hand corner, pull one to the right, one to the top, and one to the upper right-hand corner called the isometric. I hit Escape to deactivate the tools and make some adjustments. I'm going to first pull this one down, keeping this at 1 to 2. That's fine. Dropping these into position. Now, if I went to 1 to 1 on these, they're a little bit big. So if I actually went to this one here and turn it from 1 to 2 to 1 to 1, you can see these would be way too big for the paper. Okay, so we're going to stick with 1 to 2. All right, oops, not 1 to 4, excuse me, 1 to 2. Now, when we did this, you're going to notice this metric box, something just shifted right here. Okay, what we're going to do first to make our drawing look really professional so I'm going to highlight that box by left clicking and dragging my cursor across it, let go and hit delete. I'm going to grab the metric box or the metric right here, left click and hold and drop it into the corner. Now why it's still blue here, now look to the left. I can put a border on this by simply going over here to the word border. Where it says none, I could drop this down to box and now it will have a box around it. Okay. Hit my check mark, and now I've got my metric kind of where I want it, so it looks nice and clean. Now, as for the rest of this, I'm going to come up here to this upper corner. I'm going to go ahead and add color to this. We always want to add a, like a picture view to the upper right isometric. So I'm going to go ahead and hit it with um, either one. doesn't matter. I'm just going to do color. It doesn't matter if you go with the black lines or no black lines. I'll go without the black lines. And then I'm going to go ahead and highlight this extra line in here and hit delete. All right, so from here now, all I have to do is start adding in some key dimensions, okay? Now, one of the things you can do is you can, there's a little thing called uh, model items. In this case, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and use my smart dimension. And I'm going to start dimensioning this exactly kind of the way we did our sketching. I'm going to start by clicking on this left-hand side here, right side here, and pull straight up, left click. Pull or left click on the top line, left click on the bottom line, pull to my right, and left click. I'm going to widen these up a little bit so I can get some other numbers inside there. I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to click from the outside edge of this circle here to this bottom line here and pull to my right. That should be 60. I'm going to do the same thing up above. I'm going to go from, or excuse me, from uh, this side here. I'm going to go from the edge of the circle to this side here and pull up. So 60 by 60. I'm going to click on this outside corner right here. And I'm going to go ahead and pull up, left click and leave that as R10. Now in this case here, we got a couple things we can do. I'm going to go ahead and add these couple dimensions on. I'm going to pull these both to the left. I'm going to pull this one here as a diameter 70. And this one here will be a diameter 50. Okay. Now I need to add some other features to this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is in this case, I can go to the right side or the top since they really are the same view. What I want to know is from the front here to the very back here will be 25 and I'm going to also hit this little dot right here to turn these inside. I'm going to hit from the very back to the very front to make this 55. 
All right, I'm going to go ahead and hit this little curve right here, actually right there, and pull it down and below, and then click this dot and put a TYP on it. There we go. And then I'm going to click on this and over to my left in the white box, put my cursor in there, and with my caps lock on, type TYP. Okay, now last but not least, I need to know the shell in here. Okay, now what I'm going to do in this case, usually what you would do is you would slice this in half and you'd look inside of it. Um, we're not going to get that advanced of this drawing and do a section view. What we're going to do instead is I'm just going to kind of cheat it and we're going to measure from this line here to that line here and draw up, left click, and then at the back of this or in this white box, I'm going to type in shell just so I know that this is a, a two millimeter shell. Hit my F key, and now pretty much those are all the dimensions I need to build this part. So the last step I need to do here is to add a title underneath this part here. Now we didn't add any material to this, so we're just going to put this as tutorial number one, isometric, and call it good. To do that, I'm going to go under my annotation toolbar and hit the note tool. I'm going to click underneath this, and with a font size of 12, bold and underlined, centered, Caps lock on, we're just going to call this tutorial number one, space dash space, isometric view. And hit escape, or actually click outside, then hit escape. And then at this point, I'm going to go ahead and just make any fine adjustments I want. I can move this actually up a little bit, maybe. Just tighten it up, just make it look nice and square and clean. And then I'm going to come in here where it says SolidWorks Drawing. Double click that so it turns black and type in the same thing, tutorial number one. Click away, I left click and drag it and that looks good right there. You're going to put your name here by double clicking. I'm going to use my first initial, my first name and my last. Change our date, yes it looks very old there, 11, uh, what do we got, uh, 11, 10. 20. And then of course put your class period in there, in this case 3A, and scale will change from 1 to 1 to 1 to 2. Now we're going to do a quick control save. Yes, update your views. I'll go ahead and save this to my desktop since I don't need to put it anymore on my H drive since I've already done this. So I'm going to save it to my desktop and hit save. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take that file, upload it, and attach it to the Schoology assignment that this has been posted to. With that said, that's all we got. Make sure you get this done and submitted. Otherwise, if you have questions, ask your teacher, and good luck.